Hey y'all, Irix guy here and uh, always looking for ways to generate residual income. And one of the things I've checked out is, uh, it's called Amazon Mechanical Turf. Now, if you're not familiar with it, just Google it and you can find Amazon Mechanical Turf. But at a high level, what it is, it's an opportunity for people that are, that are, that are select, or what's the word for it, approved rather, for the program to go in and perform certain tasks and there's an opportunity to, to make some money there. Now, from my experience, and again, I don't wanna, I don't wanna bash it and I don't wanna pump it up, but from my experience initially, I feel that it could be a decent opportunity. Now, the thing is, is that obviously a lot of these tasks, they pay a very small amount. So it's a situation where someone would would have to perform a lot of tasks or become highly proficient with complete, with completing those tasks in a minimal amount of time to make it worthwhile for most people. But what I've discovered with it is that after a certain number of tasks have been successfully completed and approved, because once a task is completed, then it goes into an approval state, so it's either approved or rejected. But once a certain task has been completed and then approved, after completing a large quantity of tasks, it may unlock higher paying tasks. So that's kind of the cool thing, and that's where I haven't gotten to yet. But my assumption is that if someone just came in and, and felt that they were gonna do maybe two or three mechanical Turk tasks during a day, that it probably wouldn't be worth their time. But if someone figures out what their abilities are, you know, maybe use a spreadsheet or whatever, figure out what your, what your uh, strongest skill sets are, and then go after those tasks, complete a large quantity of tasks, and then potentially unlock greater paying tasks, it could prove to be worthwhile. Now again, I haven't hit that point yet, but that's the way I'm attacking it. And I'd love to hear your theories, or your workflow rather, you know, how have you messed with Amazon Mechanical Turk? And if so, what's your strategy? Do you like to go after the surveys that sometimes pay more than the, uh, than the little few cent task of you know, looking at a receipt or something like that? What's your strategy? And have you found that Amazon Mechanical Turk is worth the time? Tell me what you think. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash ivoryscout. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.